Hi Girl Scouts! My name is Betsy Nichols. I am a program specialist for the Girl Scouts of Minnesota and Wisconsin Lakes and Pines. I work out of our Duluth office in Duluth, Minnesota, and today I will be taking you through the first design challenge of the Ambassador Think Like an Engineer journey. But first, let's get started with the Girl Scout Promise and the Girl Scout Law. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. Great. So like I said, we are going through the first design challenge of the Think Like an Engineer journey. And that is, uh, the first challenge is called Animal Enrichment. And it is all about um, designing products to enrich the lives of animals. So when engineers design products and infrastructure to add to an animal's ability to thrive in their habitat, they are enriching the animal's environment. This could be in a zoo, a farm pen, or in your own home. Enriched environments lead toward long-term animal happiness as they decrease boredom and they take into the account they take into account the animal's needs for fun, physical activity, and feeding. For example, chew toys, play feeders, and agility courses help to keep dogs healthy, active, and happy. So today you have been hired to create a prototype for a new product or technology for animals that enriches their environment. So some of the criteria that we need to meet today is the prototype that you build today must enrich the life of at least one type of animal, needs to fulfill the animal's need for feeding, fun and or physical activity, needs to be st safe and sturdy for the animal, and it needs to be easy and convenient for the animal caretakers to use if they are involved. And then these are the constraints that we are working with. You can use up to one large piece of cardboard, two poster boards, paper towel and toilet paper tubes, 10 paint stirrers, five feet of rope and tape. You can use scissors um, while you are building and designing, but they cannot be part of your prototype. So I'm going to see what I can find around my house. Why don't you go do the same? And please remember when you are uh, finding items that you would like to use for your prototype, make sure you are uh, getting permission to use those. And I'll say it right now, I know I don't have 10 paint stirrers at my house, so I'm going to have to find something to swap in. And if you are missing any of the items on this list, um, try to find something that gets as close to the item as possible. Um, but we are thinking like engineers. Um, I know we won't all have the same materials and that's okay. We are still going to make something great today. So I will be right back with my supplies. Okay, I am back and I have my team of supplies. This is what I was able to round up. I have two deconstructed cardboard boxes. I didn't have any poster board around my house, so I allowed myself an extra um, piece of cardboard. I don't have any paint stirrers, so I swapped those out with skinny markers. I have my scissors. I have some tape. I found four toilet paper rolls, and I have my five feet of string. So I am going to start designing and building my animal enrichment device. Um, I am thinking that I might take it in the direction of something for a hamster. I don't have any pets, but my older sister has a pet hamster, so I think I'm going to build something for him. And I will meet you back with my finished product, and so why don't you take some time to make yours. Welcome back, I have my finished product here. And what I ended up doing was I made sort of a jungle gym for a hamster. 
So I'm gonna bring it in a little bit closer here. So I used cardboard as the base. I have toilet paper rolls um, as these towers to hold up this little um, bridge that I made with cardboard. And then I um, laced my twine through holes that I poked with the scissors to string those together. And then I cut a toilet paper roll in half to make a tiny little slide. And then on this other side, I have um, my markers taped to a piece of cardboard to kind of act as a set of stairs that the hamster could climb up. And I just wanna highlight something that I'm very proud of. Um, so I was having a hard time getting my toilet paper rolls to stand up um, if I was just kind of smushing them with some tape they kept getting lifted up and not staying in place so something that I came up with was I folded a piece of cardboard in half and I kind of made a little ladder that I could then sit the toilet paper roll on top of and I found that to be a lot more secure so I'm really happy with that so here is my pretend little hamster. It is a teeny tiny elephant. And so we got the hamster, he's climbing up the stairs, he's climbing up the stairs, he's climbing up the stairs. Now we're going across the uh, bridge and then boom, down the slide. And there we have it. Okay, let's discuss what we just did. We were challenged to create a new kind of item that would enrich the lives of an animal. Then we had to gather our supplies and we were very limited on the types of supplies that we could use. Then we had to design, build, and test our prototype. If we had been doing this together, I would have loved seeing uh, how different all of ours turned out. I hope you had a fun testing and designing with me today. We are going to be doing two more design challenges over the course of this journey. And I just want you all to remember we are thinking like engineers uh, who are determined and creative thinkers who are committed to solving problems. At the end of this journey, we will be thinking of how we can take our problem solving skills and bring them out to our communities. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you next week. Thank you.